Okay, I got it removed from tanks. Tanks are junk. And I uh, had to plasma it off. But I was sitting there playing with it. And so th this is actually uh, basically two single stage compressors. They don't feed one another. It's not a, a dual stage type compressor where this one feeds this one and then output to get higher pressures. Uh, it's actually just two single stage ones uh, feeding a common outlet. Well, this should I should have had two pulses per revolution uh, of the of the flywheel, right? Uh, because because of that. Uh, anyway, I wasn't getting what I thought I would get, so I took off the the crossover uh, tube and. This side is producing pressure, but this side's not pumping nothing. So we need to take this off the base anyway, fix, clean up the base, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna have to take apart at least this side and take a look at the valves on that side. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, about a clean enough for now, top and bottom. Really, I had to putty knife that off. So bad. There's still a little bit. We'll, uh, we'll get this uh, a, a better going over. I need to grind all this stuff up. I think I'm going to make some tabs, uh, bolt on, and then when we weld this to the new tank, we just weld on the tabs that we could always unbolt this. Remember, this is going on a 250 gallon propane tank, so we don't need to be able to move the tank. So we'll uh, weld tabs on instead of the whole, the whole base plate. So we'll get this uh, pulley a flywheel off. It uh, goes past the base, so it doesn't let the compressor sit here. But it needs to be cleaned up anyway. Yeah, about three quarter shaft. And let it soak for a little bit, and we'll see. Let's... One M. I wonder if it's actually a tapered shaft. I don't know. Oh, it could be. It actually could be a tapered and keyed. Uh, Shaft. The shaft is bigger on that side than this side by a considerable amount. Boy, it's tight. Tight and rusty. Well, I had tension on this. I had all I did was two taps and that thing popped and it popped loose. So, uh, it's, uh, it's probably tapered. Yep, tapered shaft. See? Nice. We'll be able to we'll be able to get that all cleaned up. Well, this is a cylinder that we're questioning about. So, uh, we'll, this is the uh, this is the unloader line. Oh, this nut's cracked. Somebody was uh, very aggressive, not realizing how any of this works. There's Teflon tape on these things. That's uh, bad news. Bad news. All this Teflon tape. You know, if a little bit of Teflon tape doesn't work, put on more. That looks like water. That's what I always say. Same here.
This is the uh, valve plate here. See if we can get it to come loose. I think I might have some material I can make a gasket out of. The outfitter makes the compressors is in China, I found out. I emailed them, asked them for a parts list, and they want the picture of the cereal plate and all that, so I have to send them the picture, I guess. So maybe I can get some parts for it. It's just a gasket. I, I can make the gasket. Uh, looks like you got two little pins here to locate it. I always, I always like beating on things first to see if they come apart. But they got these little slots here to help, uh, it looks like to help ease it off with a screwdriver. There we go. These are the valves here. Uh, let's take them off and lay them just how they came so we can just gently clean them up. See the piston come up, so the piston's up. Uh, they're top dead center right now. So it, it's moving, and but we'll have to uh, see if we. Uh, hopefully, the rings aren't broken or anything. So I'm gonna see if we can get this whole thing off. It's breaking loose. Just I was hoping the piston would come out, but this is almost like uh, working on an aircraft engine. Uh, the cylinders all come off the engine, you know, <laughs> uh, independently, so it's kind of nice. Uh, There we go. This is just how an aircraft engine's built. Uh, pistons will stay attached and you pull the cylinder off. But the cylinder and the head are all one. Uh, pretty dirty. Uh, you really can't tell, but pretty dirty down in the head. So uh, we'll need a new gasket for the base, which is easy. We'll get this all cleaned up and such none of the rings are broken though well all that looks pretty good so that's a good sign I don't think I have a ring compressor this small but I'll check we might have to use the hose clamp method uh, the piston and rings look, they actually look really good, so. Now, let's, we'll see if we can get, uh, we should be able to just tap this and, there we go. Just tap this off of there. That looks good. Uh. I think I'll mark this before I take it away. Yeah, we'll just put a, something or not, I don't want to do it on the surface there. We'll just put a little 
it feels pretty soft material, probably an aluminum there and down here. And I'll be able to see that, I think. And you can see all that dirt. It'll clean up. Cylinder looks good. Now, now seeing how dirty this all is, I'll probably pull the other head at least and clean the valves. We'll just do it to both sides and this is part of the gasket that just uh, I think these are aluminum and they've been uh, hard anodized. This is the valve side. So this is the side you really want to be careful about. Uh, I'll just use this WD-40 here. Just to try to clean them, don't scratch them. I mean, this is WD-40 I'm using. This is Ultralap silicone carbide 15 micron uh, adhesive back, 3 by 8 sheets, Mako precision abrasives. Uh, this stuff was given to me at the bash by Dudley Toolwright. So we're going to take some of this. Now this is a, just a small service plate. It's uh, about 9 by 12. I also uh, picked up at the bash and, uh, from a guy who had several of them. I only bought two and I should have brought all four I think he had. I should have bought them all. Uh, they're great for being around the shop. They're about an inch thick and they're granite. And uh, you can, I was, uh, what I would use it for is doing this sort of thing where I put the piece down. I already have a piece here, but I'll put a fresh piece on. This stuff's kind of neat. It's all adhesive back. And I just, boom, just put it right on there. This side there. We'll just work on the back side of this a little bit. I can do it. Make sure that's clean. Now I'll see how it's been marked. I'll, I'll, I'm going to try it on this side. See if I can move it or do it around. Clean it up. Oh, it'll help give a nice uh, clean up and smooth this so it seals. better these things seal, the less leakage you have, better compression you get. More efficient compressor. That looks pretty good. I don't know, you can see the staining. You can't feel anything, but you can see the staining. I think that will end up working. on there, And I'm just going to lay very lightly in the area where the valve is just kind of go over it just to see if there's anything that needs to come off extra dirt You can't feel anything, but anything to make that so this you know seals nice when the pressure pushes it on, right? So this other side, the top, the one that goes on top of that, is just the opposite. One's an inlet valve, and one's a exhausting valve or discharge valve, and they. 
look the same. It's just what size. One does one. I mean, one has a you know a spot here for it to open, and the other one has a ceiling surface. So I don't know if you can see it, but let's see. Right in the center here. That's what we're looking at. See a little high spot. I hope all was, you know, I hope it was just the dirt causing the problems. Cause like I said, the rings look good. Just, uh, you know, just not sealing. All right, if you put like NICs on your gaskets or some of that DC4, this doesn't happen. Uh, it happens where it happens very little, I should say. Uh, it makes it so gasket cleanup can be really, really easy. Doesn't affect how they seal. A nice little cast iron cylinder. Pretty nice. There is a wear wear ridge for the rings where the piston stops here at the bottom. Uh, I don't I don't feel it up here at the top. So they can see it. Where the piston ring stops. This is that 15 micron stuff. So it'll do no harm to this doing this, none whatsoever. Just so when the piston has to go in and go over this dirt and stuff, it's not good. So. Try to clean this up. I don't have a hone. I don't think small enough for that. So I pressure tested uh, the tank with plugs in and a gauge and uh, you know a valve and stuff here. No pressure in it now. Uh, and this rear, this paint had already come off, and this is where the propane leak was. Very very small uh, leak. So I'm going to clean this up and just put a little bead right here, weld that up. Other than that, uh, no leaks. Uh, that's really good, and uh, we'll go from there. Pressure test number two. This will take a few minutes. This is my mock-up so far of what I'm looking at. 
uh, the motor, the compressor will mount down here. And then over here we have our, this will be our outlet, our pressure switch, pressure gauge, and a small relief valve here. Uh, we have a, the original bleed valve right there. And then this will be an inlet check valve. And we'll plug this one and I'll get a pipe plug for that one. And then I've removed the relief valve. Now this was originally set for, it says 250, but it says for California 275. These are really very simple. And so I've ground out the weld and relieved the, basically all the pressure on the spring here. So I'm hoping to reset it and reuse it. It has, it's a high volume relief valve, so that uh, would be actually really good. It's in good shape. I took it apart and cleaned it and all that. So hopefully I can get that reset to, oh, you know, 150 or so. We'll, we'll see how that goes. But anyway, so this is the setups I think I'm going to go with. All right, I got the uh, safety valve in and set to uh, probably approximately 150 pounds somewhere in there. Uh, uh, right now it's sitting at oh, 100 pounds. Uh, so at, after several pressurizations, I was able to adjust it. So it's pretty close. Uh, we'll do more checking after we get the compressor on. So I'm, my repair here is good, no leaks. The welding on the bottom, no leaks. Uh, so we are good. I see I have a little bit of a leak right there because screwing that in and out. So we'll, we'll, re we'll remove everything and reseal it here because I have to remove all the plugs and put all the everything else on. So, But I, I got this all ready to go and uh, I'm going to position that so I can put a cover on all this stuff. Uh, hopefully use the original cover that will fit over this without hitting the air compressor and such. So that's where uh, I'm at right now. So after my welding, the tabs and stuff, uh, I did some spot priming, that's what you see there. Just clean those spots and and uh, put some primer on. The weather doesn't look very nice today, so just in case it rains. I'm going to clean the entire tank after I'm all done with everything and I'm going to paint it.
Looks awesome. Looks awesome.